So, final chapter now. This isn't the finale. We've got one more episode. Well, I mean, we could just go straight to the end game, but... That is... ああ。I'm still disappointed that song isn't a part of uh, this game's karaoke list. Have they had a lot of, like, um, Western songs? I don't think so. I think it's all stuff that actually the, the Yakuza, like, songwriters write. Mm. Anyway, you, uh, Shimano was Majima's boss, but he doesn't seem too heartbroken about uh, him dying. And he, it'll be business as usual with him. Also, I completely didn't realize Haruka was actually following you here. キルさん、もう準備は整いましたか。いや、まだだ。お一人でお出かけになりますか。はるかちゃんの面倒見ておきますよ。Oh, also, you can change the time of day here. Um, that is important for a couple of sub-stories. Uh, I believe one of the ones we're doing today can only be done at night. Run! Run! <laughs> I don't even know where Majima is. He, he, for all I know, he might be in the trunk of that car. <laughs> anyway, first up, we're gonna see a familiar face from a really long time ago. Same. <laughs> You remember him now? <clears throat> Mr. Two Forks? Yup. Oh my god. Two Forks is back! Mr. Two Forks. <laughs> so this sub story is new for Kiwami, and it explains the whole reason why Sarah seems to have a uh, sent assassins after Kiryu after only expelling him. I think it'd just be like, hey look, it's been 10 years, like, why don't we just let it go? 
<laughs> Unfortunately, Two Forks has a uh, just swapped over to knives, which is boring. Yeah. I was really hoping he'd upgrade to his final form, two spoons. <laughs> you know, you'd think his final form would be two sporks. Maybe spoon and spork? I'll, I'll allow know. it, but only if we see spork or a spoon version at some point. <laughs> also, for some reason, he has red aura. I mean, that's just the aura of a utensil user. I guess so. Oh, wait, no. He probably had red aura way back when, too, didn't he? Well, it sounds like we're going to have to review and you can edit it with some text later. <laughs> oh, shit. That means the, that the dragon heat action is the first one we've actually seen in the game. Or the first Kiwami move. <laughs> Look, we are uh, 46 episodes out from episode 3. It's been a long time. I like how this guy just suddenly goes, yeah, I'm going to tell you everything. Why not? Yeah, he might as well, now that he's, uh, trying to find a new calling in life. <laughs> I failed to kill you twice. I should probably just give up. <laughs> okay, so now as we go on our way to the flower, or the florist, we're stopped by this guy. I must not kill you. Uh. I feel like we need to save those ladies in the buildings behind us. <laughs> They're clearly trapped. Uh, yeah, we got first dibs. You can't just cut in line. You know, I'm just gonna say right now, this like entire area gives me some serious vibes for uh, what's the game? And now I forgot it. <laughs> uh, Shadow Warrior, there you go. Mmm, okay. So, yeah, now we gotta fight these guys. Who actually might be kind of weaker than, uh, Two Forks. Just, like, even just look at their health bars alone. They, they got nothing on Two Forks. Look, Two Forks was... Like, he's in his prime right now. He's had 10 <laughs> years of pure exercise in, in, uh, in jail. <laughs> I also love how, like, the story of Two Forks is that they got him in to serve 10 years as well. It's like, why not have him go to prison for, like, a year? Or, like, <laughs> or give him early parole. <laughs> if you can smuggle the guy in, smuggle him out. Well, the idea was he was gonna, he was supposed to take care of Kiryu, but he didn't. So they have no obligation to keep him on, like, in their good graces. But they just let him rot. I mean, sure, but... It's just a waste of training. You're not wrong. <laughs>
Nani? Yeah. so that he could intentionally fail. Yep. Both to send a message to say, hey, don't fuck with this dude. And also, uh, make sure he's actually worth the effort of keeping alive for 10 years. Because <laughs> if we ended up losing to two forks there, uh... We don't really deserve to live. Yeah, kind of. Is this supposed to be symbolic? Maybe? <laughs> Look at all that experience we got. Kiryu, yo. Jotto hanashi ga aru nara. Nanda. Tokyo wan de agatta shitai. Are nitsuite shirabete tara iroiro to omoshirei koto ga wakatte na. Shinda onna wa champion gai no palace itte mise de mama yatte ta mite da. Shikamo Can we just tell him <laughs> that we don't need to really bother with this anymore? <laughs> no, no, we gotta see this through, so... Off to the champion district as soon as I find the door. I just wish you could just be like, actually, let me fill you in on some some news I've been privy to. And then it just like, it just like fades to black and fades back in. And he's like, oh, all right then. And then you're completed. <laughs> well, no, like we still got to investigate like who the other Mizuki was. I mean, I guess. Uh. He seemed a little bit nervous about, uh, Mizuki. Nani? Yeah. Man, this is how they suck your you in. <laughs> oh, you want to see your friends? Well, it turns out your friends aren't here. Buy stuff. Yeah, you might as well, since you came in. Hello, Arisa. Thank you. Did you drink some of today? Yes. So, are you going to work? Oh, it's good to drink. Yeah. ちょっと聞きたいことがあるんだが。ん何水木って女知ってるかああ、ママのことね。何か知ってるのかええ、教えてあげてもいいけど、一杯もらっていい仕方ねえな。ありがとう。で、どうなんだ実はね、この前、ヤクザみたいな人たちが大勢でこの店に来たんだけど、来るや否や、水木ってやつはドイツだって大声で叫んでさ。それで、<笑> 
水木ママお客様がいる前で無理やり服を脱がされちゃって左胸の入れ墨見たヤクザたちが「こいつだ!」って言ってそのまま連れて行かれちゃったのそれっきりそうかママが何したのかわかんないけどあれはここのオーナーが原因なのよどういう意味だそれはねえねえもう一杯もらっていいてめえもう飲んだのか<笑>はあ仕方ねえありがとうお願いしますお兄さんアレスってお店知ってるアレスそそどこにあるかわかんないんだけどかなり有名なお店らしくてオーナーがその噂聞きつけたみたいでさ実はねここだけの話なんだけどここ完全にアレスってお店をパクってるのよかなり笑えない何アレスを探しに来る客が本当多くてさその客だましてうちに呼び込んでるのうちのママが水木っていうのも確かアレスのママが水木って名前だからよ<笑>そういうことだったのかでもおめえそんなこと言って大丈夫なのかいいのよどうせこの店今日でやめるしアリサてめえ何をベラベラほざいてるんだ本当のこと言っただけじゃないこんな詐欺みたいなことやってるからママどっか行っちゃったんでしょそれはお前がここのオーナーかあはいすいませんねアリサのやつがわけのわからないこと喋ってこんな商売やめとけ他人を語ってやるもんじゃねえあ,あお客さんそいつはどういう意味です悪いことは言わねえあの水木って女の二の前になるだけだぞな何水木について何か知ってやがるなおい表に出ろやエンプロイーズこの人は、ナーキブミンオープニングのタイガードロップ。私は、このオーナーは、本当にアプリネーム。これは、本当に、そうです。トラフィックコン、トラフィックコン。えー、それは、何だ I'm pretty sure we've seen that one before. <laughs> Looks like we're in one of those traditional Yakuza standoffs. Saki no Hanashi. Do you imida? Mizuki needs to be. Still no car? Oh, my no, you Mizuki tell me. Koro Sarita. えなんだって入れ墨まで真似る丁寧ぶりに連れ去った組の連中は最後まで本物の水木だと信じてたようだ連れ去られた本人は全く身に覚えねえのにな哀れな話だぜれずみ入れさせたばっかりにこんなことになっちまうなんてうう。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
原の住人が掴んだ情報なんだがどうやら元堂島組の連中がこの辺りをうろついてるようだ堂島組詳しい話はこっちに来たら話す時間があるならモニタールームに来い I, I guess they never actually did explain why there was a second Mizuki <laughs> Okay おうちょうどいい時に来たなどうかしたのかいやさっきここにおめえを訪ねてきた女がいたんだが誰だ死んだ堂島宗平の女堂島弥生だ何だとおめえが殺した組長の妻だこれは何かあるなと突っぱね返したんだがなおめえが来たらこれを渡せって頼まれてよはい、桐生一馬様10年前のあの場所でお待ちしておりますお話がございますお一人でいらっしゃってください警具堂島弥生ふん<笑>そこは今じゃ堂島組の残党どもの巣窟だどう考えてもおめえの玉取ろうとした罠よ桐生行くんじゃねえぞ How is this sub story four? The last one was sub story six. Oh my god. <laughs> this sub story is the only one in this episode that wasn't the original game, apparently. Okay, so we just gotta go up to Dojima's office, which is kinda close to Theater Square, I think? Um, no, I think that's Shichifuku Street over there because I see the, the the M store that's like right next to the Pocket Circuit Stadium.、Mm. So, hey, we can actually walk through the Dojima family office. Oh, hey, I remember murdering some here, someone here 10 years ago. Hmm, good times. <laughs> I remember like yesterday. あの人が死んでもう10年になるね弥生姉さんご無沙汰しています私はねあんたがいずれは堂島組を背負ってくれるもんだと信じてたんだよこのお年前つけさせてもらうよキリュどうも。So, yeah, that lady is Dojima's wife, believe、uh, it or not. Pretty sure what you mean to say is phased out of existence until the cutscene requires her to be here. Well, yes, that too. <laughs> Goddamn f i t t i e s on. をやったのはお前なのかいあんた誰かをかばってるね誰なんだい一体誰がやったんだいその答え俺に少しの間預からせてもらえないでしょうか
俺が必ずけじめをつけてお答えに上がります。With that, and with that, we're we're done clearing out side stories till the end of the game. So, join us next time, and we'll get to the credits. Yay!